Alright. So, here's the deal. This Thursday, for me anyway, um, school starts. And, I'm sorry if I sound nasally, but I've been sick all week. This Thursday, school starts for me, and I know there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be, eh, I don't have school until X amount of weeks, and then I have to go back. But you have to go back on Thursday, huh? But whatever. This is me I'm talking about. I don't care, but I guess I'm happy for you. But this is me I'm talking about. So, obviously that means that I'm not going to be uploading as much. I mean, I didn't upload much during the school year last year, or even year before, but it's going to be... <sighs> The stream of videos that I'm going to be making is going to be almost like completely cut off. And the reason is learning, but also outside of school. And what I mean by that is, I will of course have to learn in school. I mean, I have to go there like, what, six, seven hours, five out of seven days a week. But I'm also going to be learning two programs outside of school. I'm going to be learning uh, Adobe Flash, and I'm going to be learning how to use Blender. And I'm going to try to better myself with Sony Vegas and maybe even Adobe Fireworks Photoshop if I can get my hands on it. And I'm also going to see if, by any chance, I can get a better computer because uh, this one worked fine when it was in my room, but now it's just getting to the point where it's really slow, and believe me, I've tried taking stuff off it, and I've tried just about everything that I can do. If anybody else thinks they can help me, then please be my guest, but I really need a better computer if I want to continue to make videos without being frustrated and having Vegas crash twice per video. But depending on which program I like best. I mean, if I like a Blender best, you'll probably be seeing more 3D videos from me. If I like Adobe Flash best, then you'll probably be seeing more uh, 2D cartoon videos from me. And if I dislike either of them, well, I guess you'll be seeing more Machinima from me, but that's only when I have time to make videos. And I'm going to have I'm going to have even less time to make videos. I'm going to have even less time to make videos this year because I got I uh did so well on the final test of the year, at least the math portion of it that, well, I excelled, and I was called and offered the opportunity to um, take part in an advanced algebra class, and I mean, really, who wouldn't, who wouldn't take that? I mean, there's the opportunity to graduate early with that, I mean, eh, eh, you know what I'm saying? But, so that means that I'm going to have more homework, at least uh, math-wise, Plus, there's going to be impending 8th grade graduation. Yes, I'm I'm only 13, so... If you don't believe me, fine. Nobody ever believes me when, I'm tell, when I tell them that I'm 13, but... Whatever. And there's also another reason that you're not going to be seeing as much videos from me. At least not as much Machinima videos. Machinima is dying. And I mean that in almost like the most literal sense. I don't mean like one day it's just going to suddenly go kaput and jump off the face of the planet, but I mean, there's a couple things I've noticed about Machinima lately. Um, the first thing is uh, Machinima.com, at least their policies. I mean, the way they run things is just awful and it's very flawed. And I mean, I know that nothing's perfect. Um, but they do they could do a lot better for one they could fix their damn servers uh second they keep burying all the actual machinima content under stuff that's only very loosely video game related and i mean fine i guess commentaries could be counted as machinima but i personally count machinima as making films within a game or a game engine so they're not machinima to me they should not be on that channel and i've tried subscribing to only specific playlists but i guess that doesn't seem to work anymore because uh, i've tried subscribing only to uh, specific playlists on machinima.com even the ones they update regularly and i don't get any updates from them and the third thing is uh, the way their contracts are set up and how those encourage spam of videos. And what I mean by what I mean is this. I'm not going to name any names, but somebody once told me that their contract was like a few dollars or a few cents per 
like every few thousand views. I think it was like a dollar, a couple dollars, maybe half a dollar every 25,000 views. So what that encourages um, Machinima.com directors to do is upload shitty 30-second, minute, minute and a half, maybe, videos. And they're going to do this almost every week. They'll probably upload multiple videos a week. And of course, people are going to click on those videos because they're like, "Oh, hey, it's a, it's a, it's a Halo machinima. That's not fucking old." But the they'll click on the video, and of course, it's going to register their view. And even if they don't like it, then the fact is, it still contributes towards uh, that director's pay, and it only encourages them to upload more shitty videos. So you know, it's a domino effect. And also, the writing lately in machinimas has been lackluster, as uh evidenced by the shorter videos, but, I mean, the only person, or persons, rather, who have really managed to make me, like, actually laugh out loud since the beginning of 2010, maybe, like, mid-2009, is Higher Octane and Spearhead Warrior. Those are the only two people who have managed to make me actually laugh out loud, at least machinima-wise, but, you know, what can I say? They're funny guys. And I mean, I know Matt's, like, technically a Machinima.com partner. I mean, he signed E4 in films, and E4 in films is signed to uh, Machinima, but really, how often does he upload videos? He uploads one, like, once a month, if that. And Spearhead Warrior doesn't upload videos, like, nearly enough. And I can't say that I blame him. I mean, he did have to get, I think, like, a second job recently. So that's why he found his production company, but... <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's getting dry. I need to take a drink. But sorry for ranting. I'm just getting really sick of Machinima lately. Like, really sick and tired of it. I mean... Really, who's making Machinima? Because mostly the Machinima that I see on YouTube is, um... It's Halo Machinima. And the thing is... We've done just about everything with the game engine that we could possibly think of. I mean, we've tried camera tricks, we've tried uh, special effects, we've uh, lately we've tried CG animation and that's worked out pretty well for some, but you know, not everybody has access to that or um, at least is willing to even give it a shot. And even then, wouldn't it is it is it considered cheating to have 3D in a uh, machinima video? Because I know that CG is already a pretty controversial uh, controversial I mean topic in movies, but in machinima, I mean it's worked out just fine. But like I said, not everybody can uh, can do that kind of stuff. So they either have to find somebody else to do it for them, or they have to learn how, and often, if they don't know what they're doing, it can cost them, like, hundreds of dollars. Even though there's free 3D programs, but like I said, only if they don't know what they're doing. So most people aren't so uh, keen to the idea, though some still use it, and it works out pretty good for them. But I guess what I'm getting at, I've gone, like, way the hell off topic, but... I'm almost done with Machinima. I'm going to try to upload two Machinima movies, and if things are working out the way that I'm guessing that they're going to work out, then that's going to be my last Machinima work. I mean, maybe maybe I'll get back into it when Halo Reach comes out, but I doubt it. Because, let me let me tell you something. I fucking despise the idea of competitive online multiplayer. I dislike people loading up a game and getting so serious about it. I mean, admittedly, I do get frustrated, but I can't help it. But I'm not a competitive person. I'm just frustrated that I die. I mean, really, who likes dying? But... I just... Why am I going to be forced to play with these people who are overly competitive and still live in their fucking mother's basement so that I can make some videos 
It's ridiculous. It's a stupid idea, and I shouldn't have to be forced to go online with these assholes to get some armor. And I know that it's all just a little ploy to keep people playing the game, even years from now when it's been released, and almost everyone's forgotten about it except the Machine Man community, but fuck that bullshit. Why should I be forced to keep playing a game when it's already died out? So, yeah, I'm about ready to hit the 11-minute mark, and I know whatever, visual, whatever visualization I put up for this video is probably going to be long gone, but I hope you enjoyed the sound of my voice and also me complaining. And, yeah, this is going to be, like, almost totally unedited, except for, like, some silence at the beginning and end. So, I guess I'll see you in about a year. Alright, later.